Welcome, the film is an LG Velvet and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the dark mode which can be accessed through settings under the display and night mode right here. You can turn it on whenever you want or you can also set it to be a schedule so it turns on for instance at night. Now this option is completely up to if you want it at night or not uh, or all the time. Now moving on, it's going to be the navigation gestures. So when you go to the setup process of the device at the start, I believe it forces you to enable the gestures, as you can see. Um, now, if you're not a fan of gestures um, or you want to, I don't know, change it around from time to time, uh, you can access it again under the display and then navigation bar. And right here we have gestures or buttons. So as you can see, once you check it to buttons, it changes. Also under the, the gestures, you can see that you have the sensitivity. So you can change how sensitive it is. So I assume this will um, make the, for instance, swiping from side a little bit more lenient. So you can swipe it not from like off the screen, but will register it a little bit before that. Um, so again, it's completely up to you if you want the buttons or gestures. I'm actually gonna go with buttons for the video. It's gonna be a little bit easier to press them, at least on the tray. Um, then moving on, it's going to be the video enhancer, uh, which is accessible right here. As you can see in the gray text below that, you have uh, watch full screen videos in bright and more vi uh, vibrant colors. Um, so it just adds a little bit more saturation and uh, boosts the video quality. I, uh, maybe not the quality, but like how it looks like. So it looks a little bit better in terms of colors. Um, now. If you check it on and for instance you don't like it, uh, it might add a little bit too much color to your videos, uh, too much vibrance, uh, then simply disable this. Then moving on to the next one, it's going to be the pop-up window, uh, which allows you to simply have a pop-up window, kind of like Samsung devices do. So when you go to recent, you can hold an app uh, icon right there. It will drop down this menu and from here we have the pop-up window. Once you open it, as you can see, it turns it on in this little window which can move around and also resize it if you want to like so um, and you can also minimize it so it turns into an app head now on top of that you can open other apps and quickly glance at this if you want to get rid of it leave and as you can see it's always accessible if you want to and also you can make it full screen if you want to by tapping the button right there and moving on to the next uh, the last thing that I want to show it's gonna be the fingerprint animation. So as you can see right now, I have the default animation. When you press it, it does this weird thing in a, under my finger. Now this is customizable and you need to go to lock screen and security and then fingerprints. If you have some kind of, uh, well, you do have to have some kind of protection. So I'll confirm it. And from here, I believe it's here. Icon effect, there we go. As you can see, there's a couple additional ones. You can tap on them and it shows you an animation right here. And whichever one you select, you can simply go back and it automatically is applied. So as you can see now, it's different. So completely up to you which one you like. But this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.